Hello everyone, welcome this evening. Um, boy oh boy, uh, this video could potentially be one of my best. Um, so, I don't know where to start, but I guess I should just say welcome and thank you all for joining me. Um, if I seem a little anxious or a little excited, um, I am. So, um, I don't know where to start, but I guess I should say how grateful I am um, to be able to do this video tonight. Um, I'll get right into it. So, I when I started on YouTube, I started watching videos rather than making videos, and I had no intention to create a channel until most recently, as most of you know. And for those of you who are new to me, please go over to my other videos and take a look at uh, what I've been um, up to for the last few months. <laughs> um, I, I, I came across a channel that has changed um, my perspective on not only artwork and storytelling, but also living. And it's Sarah's Journals. And um, the first time I saw one of her videos, we had this kind of overlap um, in um, friendship, I guess you could say. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. It's almost beyond human words. And, and that's where I'm going to struggle tonight. As an artist, I make things rather than tell stories or, or talk about things. So this is very strange for me to do on camera. And I almost avoided doing it on camera. I received a box in the mail from Sarah, which is in front of me right here. Uh, I, I received the box and uh, I had a feeling I knew what was in it just based on intuition and um, based on the person that I know that she is. I, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, I will say that her channel is Sarah's Journals and I've mentioned it several times on my channel so far because Mm, boy, I'm going to struggle through this whole thing. And it's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to struggle. <laughs> um, um, from day one watching her, I realized several things. But I'll, I'll say that for me personally, more, more recently, because I did a video taking you into the studio, into my silver shop, I realized it takes a lot of courage to create. I'll, I'll start with that. It takes an awful lot of courage to be an artist and to create things and to then um, share them with the world. So I'll start there. But I also realized that it takes a whole lot more strength to share that process and to then share the end result. And Sarah is, no pun intended, <laughs> she's an open book when it comes to her journal making. Um, her journals, as I've said before, I guess I could sum it up with saying that they are, um, they're the most opulent, beautiful, ornate, tactile, luxurious, <laughs> And in the best way possible, lavish. Um, that's, I'm sure, not the way maybe she would describe them. But um, I'm amazed by her process. And she sent me this box, and I had a feeling that uh, there would be a journal inside of it that she created. Um, and um, I promised that I wouldn't look at her video because I had heard that she did a video on uh, the process of putting my journal together. So... I have avoided that, but on my feed on YouTube, um, I saw the cover of it already, and I saw like a, an image of me on the left side of the, the thumbnail, and um, I think that's why I've avoided opening this, because I just didn't feel like I could, and um, I have a feeling that knowing her, she is telling my story the way she sees it, and her perspective on things is amazing. Um, she tells a story with a new, fresh, almost modernistic or time travel perspective. Um, she is a magician. She's a kind heart. She's a pure soul and a friend. And I'm so honored that I now know her. And anyways, I'm going to open this up. 
Um, and I have a, a crystal on my desk that um, really assists me in, in um, remembering about beauty in life. And I guess before I open it, I, I want to go back to this because I knew this was going to be tough. So, of course, it's the Prophet. Um, I've mentioned it before. And um, Khalil Gibran, and I know I pronounce it incorrectly, but it's G-I-B... R-A-N is the last name, and it's illustrated uh, beautifully, but um, I'll skip over most of the illustrations, but some of them um, I can't skip over. They're just, they're amazing, and um, they tell a story all themselves, um, and they're beautiful, and, and they're really not of this planet. So I guess the reading I wanted to do really quickly, because I kind of sometimes lean on things, um, music, poetry, writings, when I'm unable to mold my message into human words. So I hope this is okay. And it says, about friendship, it says, and youth said, speak to us of friendship. And he answered saying, your friend is your needs answered. He is your field from which you sow with love and reap with thanksgiving. He is your bond and your fireside. For you come to him with your hunger, and you seek him for your peace. When your friend speaks his mind, you fear not the nay in your own mind, nor do you withhold the I. And when he is silent, your heart ceases not to listen to his heart. For without words, in friendship, all thoughts, desires, all expectations are born and shared with joy that is unacclaimed. When you part from your friend, you grieve not, for that which you love most in him may be clearer in his absence, and the mountain to the climber is clearer from the plain. And let there be no purpose in friendship save the deepening of spirit. For love that seeks aught, but the disclosure of its own mystery is not love, but a net cast forth, and only the unprofitable is caught. And let your best be for your friend. If he must know the ebb of your tide, let him know its flood also. For what is your friend that you shall seek him with hours to kill. Seek him always with hours to live. For, wait one sec. For it is his to fill your need, but not your emptiness. And in the sweetness of friendship, let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures. For in the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning and is refreshed. So, um, my friendship with Sarah um, seems, um, I guess, heavenly, um, unexplainable, and yet so familiar. Um, and I'm going to open the box and kind of take a peek and, and try my best um, try my best with this. I, again, I, I'm, um, really bad at certain things and receiving things, um, is sometimes tough because I like to give. Um, I like, I, I guess I get the most joy in giving. So no big surprise, butterfly tissue. Um, and of course she has to already, um, make me realize that um, all of our lives are important. Um, and she s says on the card, for the amazing Jason Adams, surprise with all my love, Sarah's journals. And uh, there's a letter inside, and I'll read that later. I'll, I'll take that in later on. And there's this beautiful, beautiful netted fabric that is absolutely exquisite, and I will absolutely upcycle that. Um, let's see here. I don't know what this is, but there's a small envelope. Maybe some of these things go to, and then there's, oh, there's like a gift wrapped up too. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, I'm probably supposed to unwrap all of this. I probably am. Um, and here I go already probably ruining it. Um, oh no, wait, she's, oh wow, a bracelet? Oh, wooden bracelet. Look, I got jewelry too, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm already so excited. See, I go from, you know, laughing, from crying to laughing, and there's a tiny little gift in a box, and of course, I can't, you know, promote a product, but Skittles are my favorite. <laughs> oh, I got Skittles. Taste the rainbow, right? <laughs> I got heart-shaped glasses. Um, great for the flea market, and trust me, I will be wearing those. Um, I absolutely will be wearing those. And by the way, there's a second pair that's lighter pink. I'm going to make Jeremy wear the other ones when we go to the flea market. <laughs> Jeremy, don't be mad. <laughs> um, I love to terrorize Jeremy. <laughs> Um, but he's been my partner for nine, nine years and he already knows that I love him very much. Okay. So we're going to put all this back in here because I hope it's just gifts and, and, you know, I don't want to, I don't know. I want to save something for later when, when I'm not on camera. Um, and I'm going to squeeze this out of the way. Um, no, I'm going to put this over here. <laughs> here I go. You know, everything is always such a struggle with me <laughs> as I drop the box. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing breakable. Um, <laughs> I'm just so excited about this. So it's wrapped up beautifully. Um, and of course, um, amazing fabric because she's so known for her fabrics. And what she doesn't know is I already started putting a box together for her. Uh, I told Tanya at My Jewelry Addiction about it, who we share a friendship with Sarah, and uh, a magical friendship with Sarah. And um, uh, I started putting a box together for her. Um, and, uh, um, fabric and, um, some notions and some very old things that I had kept that I had every intention to use. And, um, she needs them more than I do. Um, I know that much for sure. Um, and thank you again for joining me. And, you know, sorry if I seem a little skewed, but, um, I put this off for, um, I've had the box for over a week and a half now, and I just put it off because I knew it wasn't the right time. Uh, there had been some stuff going on and uh, with uh, work, of course, <laughs> uh, and I just didn't feel spiritually in the right place to um, be doing this. And, and now I do feel like I'm in the right place to do this. So, all right, um, I'm going to open this up. And like I said, I saw the cover of this um, journal uh, on, on the thumbnail on um because, of course, I'm addicted to her feed. So, of course, it came through on YouTube. It was like a recommended video. And I saw just this tiny little picture of this. And um, what I saw, uh, I was already so touched. course I'm gonna struggle like I knew I would so I think what I'll do is I'll pause for a second and um, it's not that I don't want people to see my emotion but um, I would um, prefer to um, keep this um, beautiful and positive um, and um, I knew I'd struggle so I think I'm gonna go camera down I think I think I'm it might be easier for me and it's not a not a way out, but um, I, I want to share this with you in a great way. And also, I want to view it at the same time. Um, but it's full and fantastic. And um, yeah, I'm going to pause and I'm, I'm going to um, set the camera up and uh, go camera down um, uh, on a black cloth so we can see this in all of its glory. But Sarah, thank you so much already um, for everything, um, for your channel, for your courage to create, and for um, your strength in sharing, and for being that bright light on a dark sky that I've talked about before with other people. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate your kindness. Uh, I appreciate your um, strength. Um, you are some sort of antidote for society's venom sometimes. Um, so just wait one sec. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Hold on. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, I decided to come over and 
uh, put this down um, in front of the camera rather than try and hold it and view it for the first time. Um, this is very out of the ordinary for me because, like I've said, um, I, I usually would prefer to open something like this, you know, not in front of, uh, not in front of everybody, but, um, I, I, I needed to make this video. I, I have to have, um, this documented for all of you because it's, it's going to be incredible and, and beautiful. And, um, this little cat pin, um, is, is, was on it and part of this and, uh, little does she know, but Jeremy just got a black cat. Um, Morticia is her name. And so Sarah, I don't know how she knew, but Jeremy just got a black cat. And um, this is little Morticia. So Sarah, thank you so much because Jeremy is going to absolutely love that. Um, again, uh, a beautiful note. And, and this is a great surprise because I, I wanted to actually reach out to Sarah and buy one of her journals. And um, I, I wanted to own one. And I'm trying to get this chair out of my way because I was going to sit and now I'm too incredibly energized and nervous to sit. So I'm going to stand um, and do this. Um, brought over my Rock Crystal Buddha. I felt like I needed my Rock Crystal Buddha. Um, and uh, so my Buddha is here with us. Um, and here's Sarah's, um, uh, her YouTube um, her YouTube channel. It's Sarah's Journals. So there you go. I sound like I'm a mess because I am, and I don't know what this is, but I want to open this, and I hope it's okay with her. Um, I hope it is. She has the most amazing way of keeping the most beautiful scraps and notes, and look at this. Unbelievable that I would be... Uh-oh. Not for YouTube. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're gonna... <laughs> Whoops. We're going to um, not do that on camera. <laughs> so, sorry, Sarah. <laughs> so, I'll open that later. Thank you for the laugh, Sarah. I, you know what? You knew I needed that. I mean, you already knew. So, let me um, <laughs> let me get into this. So, um, I... I, I <laughs> there I go. Getting in trouble already. Um, so... Let's see here. I'm sure it opens this way. And again, I was tempted to watch her video on the construction because I wanted to know all the ins and outs of this. So we'll look at the cover again because this cover is insane. It's like this sheer and diaphanous material that is over this beautiful portrait of, of course, um, Egyptian uh, mummy mask in gold and, of course, enamel. Um, and her her choice of color on this. Um, orange and blue turquoise are my favorite colors. Orange is my first favorite. And this turquoise is has been a close second for a long time. Um, so she must know that I love this color. Turquoise with these little mirrors and this very fine embroidery. So again, so much fun to touch. And I guess she'll know that I will be playing with this for hours on end. And I don't sleep very well. So I'll be playing with this in the evenings. And let me tip the camera up to get the whole thing in. Sorry to, to move you there. But um, look at the whole thing with the tassels and this um, beautiful depiction of um, e Egypt um, and historical. So something that came before us that means so much to us these days. Uh, and uh, we'll open it up. And I think maybe th she has so many little secret compartments in her things that um, when I've seen her videos, there's like this um, amazing, oh boy, oh wow. What on earth are we... This is incredible already. Um, it's going to take me a very long time to get through this, I have a feeling. But I'm just going to show you and brief over this. I'll go into all of these things off camera because, to be honest, I just feel like I, I want to um, I want to en enjoy this privately as well, if, that, if that's okay with everybody. Um, oh, boy. So it says, the Jason Journal, a celebration of his expertise, love of dogs, masterful creativity, and more. So. Beautiful page of colored stamps. Amazing, amazing collage because I love orange. And look at this one. Look at the artistry in, in old stamps. And it's... 
strange that she, you know, wouldn't know again, but my grandfather, my grandpa Frank, my mom's father, um, gave me a stamp collection when I was young. Um, and, and we didn't have a lot. Um, you know, our family didn't have the right last name, if you will. They were, um, immigrants. Um, and they were, um, my, you know, we were poor coal miners from Pennsylvania. Um, and, um, yeah, my grandpa gave me this amazing stamp collection. Give me one sec. Let me, uh, take care of this, uh, cause my nose is running. Um, and I don't want to sniffle the whole time. Um, another page of, um, Egyptian, um, history and a beautiful stamp there. Um, and I, <laughs> I don't know where the word dick came from on this, <laughs> but, but I'm going to absolutely love that. I mean, <laughs> Sarah, if you only knew, uh, <laughs> if you only knew what that means to me these days, uh, well, I'll, I'll have a private conversation with you <laughs> soon. Um, look at this book on, um, ain't like an ancient tree and, um, this amazing leaflet of, um, Buddhism. Um, she knows that, um, I'm not only a practicing Catholic, but I'm also, um, a practicing Buddhist. Um, and I believe in so many of, um, the things with Buddhism and the way you treat others and, um, kindness to animals and, um, revering nature. So, um, this is incredible. Look at this and the, the painting on the ceiling. Let me double this over. I'm sorry. It's a little out of the frame, but look at the painting on that Royal palace ceiling. Um, incredible art and, um, beauty of, uh, history. And she knows that antiques are kind of my, my center, kind of my, um, focus and, uh, look at this inside cover. You know, it's going to take me a long time to, to enjoy. Um, but I have to share this with you. Look at the embroidery here and this bird in flight and, uh, this kind of tendril or this kind of waterfall of flowers. And then look at this decorative ribbon. She does these things with scraps of fabric that shouldn't be considered scraps of fabric because they're little works of art. I mean, the embroidery and the surface on this and the raised surface on this, it's almost like couched threads to where they're hand tacked down once they scroll this little metal um, trim and then they tack it down with embroidery. So it is almost... Um, Passamentary trim is what we call it in America, um, but passamentary trim that has been um, applied down to a velvet uh, ribbon and orange, of course, and gold and silver, just fantastic. And the raised surface and the couch threads on that, if I could get in closer, I, you know what? I can. I'm going to get in closer on that because look at that artistry in couch threads in incredible and again, opulent and lavish and, and lush. Let me stick all these back in here because I want to keep this in the order in which it arrived. Um, she thinks things out so thoroughly. And look at this, you know, making a pocket with, let me get you back in the frame, making a pocket with that ribbon. She's a genius. Um, she's an absolute genius. And again, this, this means more than you'll know, Sarah, more than you'll know. Um, and Jeremy and I are going to laugh about that for a long time. And it's definitely going to be a bookmark. I'm, I'm going to use that as a bookmark. <laughs> I, I, I love you, Sarah. I can say from the bottom of my heart, um, from one artist to another, you know how it feels. Um, and the note again, um, I don't, I, I don't want to uh, revisit that for right now because, um, yeah, I just, I can't right now. Um, but, um, wow, what is this? Yeah. Um, oh boy, these, these pages from old ephemera, you know, things that were ephemeral that weren't meant to last. And, um, it, um, boy, the way she pr provides the information to us um, is is almost like tr time travel. And then it says, what is your latest favorite discovery? Um, I would have to say my latest and favorite. It goes without saying, um, Sarah, you are it. Um, that's all I can say um, without being too figural. Foliage Beauty, 23 cent single roll. So this is an old piece of wallpaper. 
Um, and she doesn't know, but I collect old wallpaper. And uh, this was 23 cents for a single roll of wallpaper. And look at the texture of that wallpaper back then. Um, it, it's incredible. And then there's like little gold, little gold. I'm going to zoom in on that. I'm going to tip you down. Sorry about this movement. But look at the little gold accents in that wallpaper. And it's almost... Um, is a forgotten art, you know, wallpaper. Uh, and I could talk about the history of wallpaper for a long time because <laughs> I researched it in school um, for when they, you know, stenciled wallpaper um, in the Orient uh, very early on. I think, I don't, I, I think, well, at least it was in, in use by the mid, I believe the mid 1700s uh, could be a little bit off there, but I'll have to brush up on my information. And speaking of Orient, this beautiful typewritten, um, Asian symbol, likely Japanese on that one is my guess. Um, I'll have to look at that closer. Um, but I'm a little far away from the book. <laughs> I wish I was closer, but you're seeing it uh, a little bit closer than I am at this point, because I'm above all of this, uh, above situated above the book. Um, and again, I just want to leaf through it very briefly. I want to go into this tonight. Look at that. The way she provides this information and the raw edge of this is, is genius. The raw edge, the fugitiveness of this whole thing, and the artistry in which she has this cosmic vibration to everything she touches. Um, she's a genius and just a beauty. Um, the way she speaks, the way she uh, lets us into her world is so gracious and so kind. Um, and I'm so grateful that she's doing what she's doing. Um, advice to new artists. Hmm. Interesting, Sarah. Um, advice to new artists. And it's paperclip closed. I'll get into that um, at a different time. I, I don't want to open that right now. Um, advice to new artists. Amazing. Amazing question. Amazing, amazing. Um, another stamp. Another beautiful, beautiful stamp. I'm, I'm so surprised that she knew of my love for stamps because I don't talk about it. <laughs> I don't talk about it um, in my videos, or I haven't so far. Um, and I'm sorry to fidget with this tripod, but um, we're, we're going to struggle. Give me one second. I'm going to move this. I, I hate to bobble around with the camera because I never do. Um, but again, this finds me in uh, very um, emotional space. And... <laughs> Look at me fidget. <laughs> it's not about me. It's about this book. Um, so another ribbon and an applied surface um, and this extraordinarily beautiful antique in, in interior. And the one thing I love about these interior shots, it shows the way furniture and clocks and lamps or chandeliers were stationed or positioned into these opulent, really lush, magnificent, and very wealthy estates, uh, palaces, and historical buildings. So I've always loved these as a documentation of, I'll find this clock, but I won't know how it was put on the wall you know, and be seen in a Rococo style mirror. Uh, I didn't know that they would mount a landscape that high on the wall above a door. <laughs> and look at the paint on the door. This, this amazing kind of apple green and this kind of earthy, creamy tan. I just get lost in journals like this. And I think Sarah knows of my affection for things that have spanned before me. Um, Again, she doesn't cease to amaze me. Another pocket. Um, and this is probably a trade card of some... Yeah, it would have been a trade card. Uh, so this would have had information. It's Victorian, and it's original. 1875, I would guess. 1875, maybe 1880. But it's a Victorian trade card. And, um, oh, there we go. It's for... McGla I, what do you know? Beginner's luck. <laughs> McLaughlin's, McLaughlin's Coffee. Um, and it look at the pug and the little uh, the little boy or little girl. I think it's a little boy. No, that would be a little girl, I think. Yeah, sometimes they dressed boys and girls very similar. 
um, back in the day with dresses. Uh, and um, yeah, here we are today. <laughs> here we are today worrying about what uh, people wear and then uh, judging their gender by it. I don't quite get that. Um, and don't get me started. Don't don't make me go down that road. <laughs> um, amazing. This is just absolutely beautiful. Um, absolutely beautiful card. And, and I love it. And the pug is, look at the pug's face, the expression of that dog, a loyal friend. You could tell that dogs are loyal friends. Um, even when dogs are broken and abused, they, they still trust people. It's, it's quite a remarkable thing. Uh, we have so much to learn from the animals in our lives. Um, oh, look at this little face. Where did this come off of? Where did that little face come off of? I'm going to have to find out. I'm going to have to watch Sarah's video tonight, and I'm going to have to find out where that little face came from. And I've been avoiding the video because I uh, I didn't want to see it until I looked at this. Um, and here I am hunched over, <laughs> and I'm getting a cramp in my back. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. Um, but my mountain bike's going to take care of that soon. But look at the, again, look at this stoned fabric on this side, creating that pocket, creating this this thing to save all of these pieces. Let me go down a little bit. There we go. Now we're in the frame, um, kind of. But what an incredible thing. Any crystals you wear for spirituality. Yeah, well, you know, how would she know? Oh, look at this. Look at this little accent right here. Um, anyone else would have missed that, <laughs> except for Eagle Eye Jones over here. Look at that to where why why would someone say to themselves as an artist i have to put this here but her like i said she's a genius um she's such a genius in craft and design um she's almost dangerous <laughs> um incredible um heaven and 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 incredible um look at that with these uh boxers and gymnasts this had to have been yeah it was an olympic stamp um, probably what from the seventies? It would be my guess. Those would be maybe seventies. They look like it by the graphics. Maybe they're the eighties. Oh boy, oh boy. Sarah listens. <laughs> boy, does Sarah listen? She listens to. Mm hmm. Yeah, she listens to everything. Um, she does even things that aren't said. Sarah listens very close. Um, and she did a journal. On, on Kenley. Um, and please go over to Sarah's channel. I hope this inspires you to go over to Sarah's journal, uh, Sarah's journals. She did a, a amazing album on Kenley, um, her partner. And um, oh, it's just, it's incredible. <laughs> it's insane is what it is. Uh, look at these. I don't know if I'm supposed to take these out. I probably shouldn't. No, I probably will eventually. But they're... Um, quilt patterns. Uh, this is like an album quilt way up here. Way up here at the top is like an album quilt. Let me move you up just a little bit. Let's do this. All right. Now, now we're almost in the frame. It's just, I can't move this any closer to the tripod, but there's like an album quilt way up here. So this is like an album quilt, what they call an album quilt. And then this is like a modified four block. And then uh, that's a fan. That's the fan design. Forget what that's called. This is a variation of the laurel wreath with um, flowers. Let me refocus the camera. I don't know why it's struggling all of a sudden. There we go. Now, now we're a little bit more in focus, I hope. Yeah, we're a little bit more in focus. I don't want to lose any of these papers. Um, how complex and how beautiful. Look at this one. This is incredible. It's the basket design. Um, and I have, oh, that's amazing, tumbling block design. Uh, I think that's log cabin. See, here I go, not, you know, remembering all my quilt patterns. And here I am on live TV guessing. <laughs> um, wow. Oh, wait, I skipped it. Well, there's some, probably something sandwiched in there. I'm going to wait for that surprise. If you had to live in an ancient civilization, which would it be? See, I don't know if I'm supposed to be answering these on, on this, but um, I'm not going to say because <laughs> I I have a, a few, um, of course, Egyptian and Mayan, but uh, I, I'm going to save more information on that eventually. More amazing stamps, these phenomenal stamps. And look at how she's got them arranged to where they will come out. So they're in this tiny little pocket, if you will. Um, beautiful um, queen and just am amazing, just absolutely amazing. Um, this is all about history. Um, and it's about my love of, uh, of course, look at this. Look at this old, old sheet music because 
of course, beautiful. And this amazing kangaroo stick pin. We're forgetting him way up here. There's a kangaroo stick pin. Um, fantastic. I'm going to have to look really closely at all this because it all means something. And when I go over to her video to see her construction of this, I know that this is all going to fit in and make perfect sense um, for me in my life. And Sarah, I have to tell you how much I love you again. I, I really do. Um, look at this. Look at these rings. Gents rings and signet rings. It looks like maybe late 70s. Um, you know, they started these in the in the late, um, well, the, they were crazy in the late 50s, um, but probably likely a synthetic, uh, synthetic ruby, synthetic emerald, uh, synthetic star sapphire way up here, synthetic black star sapphire, probably a synthetic diamond or a CZ, but fantastic to see the way uh, these were um, made and created. And I love old jewelry catalogs. Uh, look at the old watches and more fabrics and such. You know, this reminds me, I, I don't like to say this too much because I don't want it to ruin the artistry, but there were old samplers that I had that were of fabrics and uh, hand stitching and embroidery that um, not only children would do uh, um, pre-turn of the century, last you know, last century, like 1880, 1870, 1880, they would do this to where they would keep hi his historical pieces um, so that they would know how they were created and then they would know how to, you know, tat, you know, do tatting for lace, uh, crochet, embroidery. But look at the way she gave this history, historical documentation of actual embroideries. And I think these are all from India, at least... My general knowledge of this, yeah, the base fabrics, they look all Indian. Um, look at the seed beads, the way these seed beads are put onto this fabric. Um, I hope that she documented all of this in, in her video, because I, I really need to see. Um, yeah, that's beautifully done. Absolutely beautifully done. And I'm so thankful. I hope that's Sarah's cat's fur. I hope it's her cat's fur. If if that's her cat's fur, that is going to be the my favorite part of this journal. It's going to be hands down my favorite part because that is um, authentic and real. And I will cherish um, the cat fur that's on there. And I know that's craziness, but, um, you know, Sarah knows how I am. Um, and she knows my affection for animals. Um, she does. These are insane. I, I'm going to enjoy this. You have no idea, Sarah, how much I'm going to enjoy that page. I'm going to go through this again tonight. I probably won't sleep. Um, and I do need to sleep tonight, but I probably won't. Another sheet of incredible Asian stamps, 1976 incredible and what's beautiful about it is is that the sheet isn't perf uh, torn apart that it's perforated um, and not torn apart just incredible um, and uh, very strange that there would be postmark in the center of this even though it was never applied to a package not quite sure historically why they would have done that but um, look at that detail it, it uh, stamps are works of miniature art um, and commissioned by, um, you know, governments, um, by famous artists. And um, stamps are incredible, uh, absolutely incredible, because they're utilitarian objects um, that weren't really meant to be revered, but actually are. Wow, here's another question. I'm going to save that. I'm saving a lot of this, and I hope that that's okay. I'm just going to give you a rosary. Oh, Sarah, um, beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful, and will go in my collection and never leave. Um, this has such a charge on it and, and such beauty. Um, I actually will use this. I will actually use this. Um, beautiful. And Jesus um, is a little damaged there, but in my mind, he's not damaged at all there. Absolutely not. He's perfect. Um, these beads, probably from, I'm guessing... Well, they could be Czech Republic, um, but those are old. Yeah, each one's got hand facets on them and on, on silver tone wire. So yeah, that is beautiful, Sarah. Absolutely beautiful. And it bothers me to leave it in here. <laughs> I want to use it, but I'm going to leave it in here. It's going to stay in this journal. I will use it from time to time, sweetheart. I will definitely use that. Um, and then, Sarah, you're a genius. Uh, again, I, I go back to it because I, I don't have any other word. You have this cosmic love, beauty, more stamps, and incredible. And I hope um, she would allow me 
to make notes on these things, on, on these separate things, because I would love to keep notes on, well, I'll say it, as, as a journal, as a diary, um, and, and not change the, wow, you gave me a lot of things to write on. Oh, look at that. And that was definitely given to a friend, for sure. Oh, boy. Yeah, from the CCP. Um, wow, incredible. Uh, incredible, incredible. And look at this one. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to... I have so much more to look at. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> and here I am not crying at all. I thought I was going to cry through this whole thing, like be an absolute mess. Um, oh, Sarah, thank you so much. Oh, boy. Yeah, and I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to... Oh, I think this is... Um, is this... Um, it's not Avalokiteshvara. Uh, let me think of who this is. Um, well, it's a Buddha, but I'm drawing a blank on, um, 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 no, A-M, oh, I'm gonna, see, I want to say it's Amenhotep, but that's Egyptian. Um, Amitabha, maybe? Amitabha? I think it is. I don't, she's gonna, you know what? She probably already said what it is, and I'm gonna say something totally wrong. <laughs> And she's going to be like, you're not the best Buddhist in the world. <laughs> um, but she wouldn't judge me. Uh, I know she wouldn't. But I think that is Amitabha, I believe, that one specifically. At least I have a bracelet that my, um, th at the temple, uh, my friend, um, Catherine, she said that uh, the, um, the Buddha on my bracelet was Amitabha. Uh, I believe that's the way she pronounced it. I probably, probably have it wrong. <laughs> Here I go. Um, ruining everything, uh, everywhere I go. <laughs> uh, but Sarah loves when I go crazy. I know she does. <laughs> These are insane. I, um, you know, as, as me, as a historian, I, I would frame this. I, I would, you know, I, fr I would frame this and hang it on the wall. Um, and I would orientate it, um, differently on the wall, um, just because of, of my artist's mind. Um, but yeah, and, and I, I would frame that one too. I wish... I wish I could read these um, as sacred manuscript pages, and they were bound on this edge. And I do have, I'll have to, I'll, I'll bring it on sometime. Sarah has inspired me to do some videos I, I didn't think I was going to do, um, but I'm going to. So Sarah, your inspiration, um, you've breathed, breathe new life into my perspective um, on my channel. Uh, and I thank you for that as I continue to sniffle through the whole video. Um, what I love too is this old graph paper behind here. Another person who would look at this may not have seen that. Oh, and a beautiful charm. See, there's so many. Oh, it's got a paw. Oh, I wish I could go in on it. Um, no, I, well, yeah, there we go. It's got a paw print and a heart, silver tone. Um, she knows that animals have always um, run run my life, and um, I don't know what's in this little bag. I don't know if I'm supposed to open this on camera, so I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna leave it in there. That's a surprise for Jason for later, and of course, a banner um, flag that uh, is beautifully printed um, and a beautiful color, of course, she knows, and to pair it with this. I mean, Sarah, you have an innate ability to... Um, um, to touch people in a way that um, humans just don't normally touch other people. You you have a skill set that um, is just incredible. Um, wow, this is is so complex. And again, um, I. I, I don't want to go through all of this because I want to savor this. And I feel like. Um, you know, I, I feel like sharing this with all of you, you get the gist of what this is. And then um, there's a part that, you know, I don't want it to, I don't want to say that it's like voyeuristic, but it's like, um, this is kind of my life in, in front of people. Um, and, and that's great. You know, uh, it's wonderful. And this is incredible. But again, I've explained before on my channel that, oh, what is this? Oh, boy, oh, boy, Sarah. How do you come up with some of these things? Yeah, this um, incredible. Yeah, incredible, incredible, incredible. Um, and then a cameo, um, a diagram of a cameo back there. Um, and a gold, you know, um, a gold pendant. Um, beautifully done gold pendant. And this cameo, of course, a diagram of a cameo that is an ancient cameo. Um, 
incredible, incredible. And I'm going to enjoy reading all about that because it explains who everybody is. Uh, it's for, oh yeah, first century. So um, ancient. So yeah, not, not, you know, not Victorian. I would know that as soon as I saw it, I'd say, oh yeah, ancient. Um, and my job as um, an, an auction advisor is to know about um, the history of things. And, and this book is just an incredible, incredible history. Look at the um, uh, botanical prints. Incredible. Um, oh boy, what is this? What is this? What do we have? What do we have going on here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if I found a genie in an antique lamp, what would I wish for? Sarah, thank you so much. That's um, incredible. And another pocket with another trade card. Yeah, another trade card from um, Wisconsin. Um, wow, so let's see. Yeah, the Davis, it's right there. The Davis sewing machines. Um, look at the little pugs, the pug in a basket. Again, um, Oh, boy. Uh, and I haven't brought a lot of my um, collection of antique dog things on my channel yet, and yet she knows. Let me make sure she, this beautiful lady, I love this. She's the most uh, attractive paper doll ever. <laughs> Look at her. Look at that. What on earth, you know? Unbelievable and so incredible. Her paper dolls, um, uh, insane. Look at this. And little environments that these people... These actual people. Yeah, and there's an earring holding this shut. So I'm supposed to take the earring off, and then I'm supposed to get into this. And I'm, oh, I probably should, because what I just saw. Sarah, Sarah. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I might get a little bit, um, yeah, I might, I'm going to leave that here. Yeah, I might, uh, I might yeah, I'll, sh I'll show, but I probably will have to wait on this um, for a while. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, yep, that's what I was thinking. Um, I haven't, uh, Sarah, I haven't talked about, um, some things on my channel because, uh, um, um, losing my, my two dogs so close together, um, mm, was one of the most difficult things I've, I've been through in life. And uh, uh, both were rescues. And, and this one is Zito. He, he was a, a bull terrier. And he was a rescue from Indiana. And um, he had a very rough life. And um, I had a very rough life when I found him. And, you know, people always said that I saved him. And uh, I think he saved me. So um, losing him was such the challenge. It was... Like losing a child. Um, Sarah, you made me so beautiful on this. <laughs> Look at my eyes, how you painted my eyes in. And you gave me this incredible headpiece that we've never seen on Earth before. Um, and you gave me an awesome mustache that I don't have, but looks amazing. And look at how you did my lips. I'm so proud of my lips. <laughs> oh, look at you go. Putting jewelry on me and a big, huge ring. And um, thank you for covering my, um, you know, the drink of choice back then because, you know, bad decisions. I, I love that. Oh, wait, he does come off of here. Does he come off of here? I don't want to ruin anything. How <gasps> He's a magnet. What in the world just happened? He's a magnet? Sir, are you kidding me? He's a magnet. Come on. He is a magnet. I am. Oh, Sarah, like. I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. When people see this video, they're going to realize what an amazing, amazing human you, you are. Um, and I, I guess that I'm going to leave me here. <laughs> here I am saying I'm going to leave me here. Um, but I am. I'm going to leave me here. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go back to that later. I, I don't feel um, that I can go there right now. Um, but look at this miniature environment that I'm going to be able to live in. Look at this space that I'm going to be able to spiritually reside in. Um, and, uh, give me one sec while I wipe my nose. Um, I'm glad I'm doing this, uh, camera down, um, because Jeremy has said that I'm an ugly crier. <laughs> um, and I am, it's unsightly. <laughs> um, so 
I, I, oh, I have to pin this back on here. And it's a screw back earring. She does all this upcycling. Um, Sarah, thank you so much. I, I can honestly, all I can come up with right now is a thank you, uh, an absolute thank you. And, and thank you for allowing me to be in these environments with such beauty. Um, look at the dress and look at the color and the saturation of the border. She finishes these so incredible. Her her finish, you know, a lot of artists know how to how to start, you know, how to start something, but they most certainly don't know how to like finish it. And I don't like, I mean, you know, she well, I'm not gonna say I don't like it, um, but she um says like she's you know crafty and sh she's beyond crafty. She's she's transcended craft, and it's very apparent to me, you know, as a fine artist, um, she's transcended the medium in which she uses. So Sarah's an artist. Um, and, you know, she, she um, is, is definitely amazing at her craft. Um, but she's an artist. And it's very evident. Look at these environments. And then I guess I should, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up because I want to. And, you know, normally I'm looking at the clock on my video and I'm, I'm staring at it thinking, I have to hurry up. Look, I fit in perfectly, right? Isn't it amazing to think that there's an environment that I fit into perfectly and then I can pull this down and I can take photographs of this and document me in all these amazing magical spaces um, to let me escape real life sometimes. And then I can kind of maybe hide behind this heart over here. Um, and my little Zito will stay with me because um, he has to. Um, Zito will always be with me. I, I never feel like our pets truly leave us. Um, and, you know, more recently within the last, you know, um, a little bit, um, Jeremy lost Jasmine. Um, he, you know, we, we had to make the tough decision, uh, the selfless decision. And, um, you know, we know that she's resting well, but um, Jeremy's really having a tough time with um, losing Jasmine. Um, I think he had her for 16 years. So um, it's never easy. Um, never, never easy. Um, so here I go again. Sorry about that. Um, and then um, as I stare at my little boy, um, look how I fit in again, you know, and it's like I'm on stage. <laughs> um, Sarah, you've made me feel so incredibly important. Um, and I just want to say thanks. Um, I know that's not enough. But I just want to say thank you. I want to say um, thanks for this unsolicited, um, unsolicited beautiful gift. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to thank you. This is just incredible. And I think this, as I try to distract myself like normal, um, I think this is out of an old music player. At least I think that's what this is from. Um, I, I think so. Um, I think it is. I think this is out of an old, um, not Melodian. I forget what they call this. Um, you know, this feels like a... <laughs> It feels like an antiques roadshow test. <laughs> um, it, um, yeah, this is, um, you know what? This is the theme song for Jeremy. He he sings this every time he's around me. You're driving me crazy. <laughs> you know what? Jeremy always says to me as I try and, um, as, uh, you know, try and move past that sadness. Um, or I shouldn't say sadness, but um, true emotion. Let's call it what it is. Um, and um, uh, he, you know, he says I drive him nuts. <laughs> and he always says, what's wrong with you? That's what he says every day. What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> um, 
carved history of totem poles. Of course, I'm going to delve into that because that's just going to be fantastic. I love old totem poles. And of course, she included this incredible, um, oh, it's sterling silver. She in in included this incredible um, Pacific Northwest Coast Indian uh, medallion uh, and signed by the artist in sterling silver. And she doesn't know, but I love, um, well, you know, we're not, well, you're not supposed to say certain things, but um, Eskimo, Inuit, um, and Pacific Northwest Coast um, Indian tribes, uh, I, I call them, you know, the people what they are because I respect them very much. Um, this is incredible embroidery. Look at the color of that, rainbow colored and um, incredible, incredible. And as you can see by my bracelets, you know that I love red and yellow and green and orange. Um, I love all colors, basically. But the embroidery on that and the pocket that it created. Um, but, you know, here we are, close to the end. She's completely loaded this with tons of ephemera. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get into all this. But you can see why her art is so fantastic and so beautiful and so well thought out. So please do me a favor. Um, please love this video. Please share this video out. Please tell the world about her. Um, I love Sarah. I love... Oh, look at these butterflies. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, that's from my childhood. That's... Uh, I remember that vividly from my childhood. Um, the butterflies that I used to get would come in these um, tissue packets, and uh, these are paper, uh, um, but the real butterflies would come in this, and I collected them as a child uh, when I was little. Um, another trade card that comes out. Beautiful. Look at the leaflets and the layers. The Oh, and I went right past that. An old Victorian um, jewelry diagram to show about um, sterling silver flatware and uh, fob chains up in the corner here, right here, and then fine jewelry. Um, and um, amazing. More, uh, just more old paper and very, very early things. And I love this. I have got to look close at that. I'm going to have to look close at that. Oh, boy. Incredible. Incredible little snippets of things and little pieces and parts and out of an old picture book, like a child's picture book. But look at the graphics. And of course, this little clown pin that's pinned on this. Um, I love her layering. I love her color play. Um, how do you and Jeremy spend an ideal day? Mm -hmm. Biggest disappointment that turned out to be a blessing. Favorite prayer and mantra. Uh, if you were the king of the world... <laughs> Uh, oh, and I, I could put myself here. Now I'm getting it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at me. Look at, oh, and I'm supposed to be in this bottle, I think. Hold on. Now I'm getting it. I'm supposed to be. All right. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to use this as one of my favorite pictures um, for maybe the thumbnail of this video, um, because now I get it. I'm supposed to be in this. Sarah, I, yes, now I get it. Now I get the mustache and the headpiece. Now it all makes sense. See me working through things on camera when I didn't want to do this in, in front of everybody. And yet I'm so glad that I did. Um, this totally makes all sense. And it brings back um, the, the feeling that I, I don't want to cry again. Um, but it's um, such, um, I've been misunderstood for the vast majority of my life. And um, it's amazing. See, here's, here's more. If you were the Pope. Um, it, um, I, you know, and then I want to put myself, you know, I want to put myself here in this too, you know, inside of my little genie bottle with my dog, with my best friend. Um, and we're out of focus, but I want to put myself inside of that as well. Sarah, you have, um, you have really, um, I, I'm going to struggle for the words again, but you've really, really, um, helped. Well, I'll say, um, it's cause it's true. You've really helped me, um, heal in so many ways. Um, and it's not often that, um, I feel so honored, um, and so loved, um, I, you know, and I know Tanya had a lot to do with this too. So, 
That's beautiful. Oh, and your little tassel in the corner, so thoughtful. The whole thing is so incredibly thoughtful. Um, and, you know, I could even, um, I could even um, cut him out. Um, you know, and I've told Tanya before, too, that, like, I never collected art um, that wasn't a dog that I knew. And there's a layer to my life that was always based on um, dogs and cats and um, my connection spiritually to animals and um, my understanding of um, their um, um, ability to love with no judgment. And uh, Sarah, you make me feel loved with no judgment at all. So um, I think I'm going to leave the video at that. Um, I want to leave it on an up note. Um, I, I, I beg you uh, to please go over um, to Sarah's channel and tell her how much you love her and appreciate her um, for changing people's lives. Um, you know, for, you know, she thinks it's a simple craft and it's much more than that. Much, much more than that. So, Sarah, um, thank you. Oh, I, I think I'm magnetic. I'm, look, <laughs> I'm stuck on this. Oh, I am. Wait. Uh, oh, wait. It's... <laughs> okay, see, I, I'm not going to leave on a bad note. Um, I, um, I'm stuck on... <laughs> I'm stuck on this, um, on this... <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. I'm supposed to be on there. See, there was probably like maybe an instruction manual. <laughs> but I was the kid who in um, you know, when I got a gift, I didn't read any of the instructions and you know why my car models never came out right? <laughs> I would like glue my fingers to the windshield of the car things and I would always say to my mom, "Um, I shouldn't be playing with uh car models." <laughs> So, uh, Sarah, now I get it. Now I'm supposed to be on the tip of this instead of inside of it here. I'm supposed to be stuck to it right there. Oh, there we go. I'm stuck to it there, right there, too. I wonder if I can stick to anything else in this book. <laughs> Maybe there's like a little stack of million dollars and I could stick to it. <laughs> Sarah, thank you so much. Um, you really have, uh, you have made me so incredibly happy. And I feel so incredibly loved. And I'm going to go through all these tiny little things in here. And I really didn't think this video um, was going to take me so long. But I'm so glad that I didn't rush. And um, I have so much to tuck back into this incredible journal. So I'm going to scoot this out of the way. And I'm going to put this here so everybody knows that's exactly where you need to go. You need to go to Sarah's Journals. Um, Sarah, thank you so much. To all of you, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate all of you, and um, I'll be back with you soon, very, very soon. Um, thank you again so much, and you know how I end it. Sarah, I love you, and to everybody watching, I love you very much. Thank you all so much. Good night.